at this beautiful gold Kingdom Combat Championship belt. It's arguably the biggest fight of the night. Milos Krug versus Jack Dunny. Another international fight as well, man. No. We've been spoiled tonight. Know, we've, we been spoiled, we've been spoiled, Paul. And Milos as well, you know, he's one of the best amateurs in his weight division in Europe. He's the number one in Poland. He's got a stellar amateur record, 13 and 2, with nine finishes, and he's riding a three fight win streak. He is one of the best amateurs about in the lightweight division. Both, both young men have got tough fights tonight. Yeah. Very tough fights for both of them. I wish this was a five round fight. And his opponent, our second challenger for the championship tonight, from the UK, Jack Dunn Levy! Massive, massive test for Jack Dunn, the biggest fight of his career, for sure. He's 4-1, all of his fights and finishes. His stand-up is phenomenal, he's a Four Nations champion. But watch out, he has got two anacondas to his record. Your fingers. When you put your, when you sit here with your hands on the desk because he's got some insane power. Insane power. Both of these guys have got such a huge potential. These guys you can see in a few years being, you know, very good pros. Fighting some really of the best. Says a lot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, our next bout of the evening, brought to you in association with Hell Energy Drink. Oh, I'm excited for this one. For the Bacon Kingdom Combat European Lightweight Championship. So introducing our first challenger for the championship this evening. Fighting out of the red corner, representing Nemesis from Poland. Presenting Milos His opponent tonight, standing across the cage, our second challenger for the championship tonight, representing Aspire from the UK, presenting Jack Tadlevy! Our referee in charge of the action, Mr. Sam Amini. Tonight I've been a bit speechless. I know. I think we're in for a treat. I think you're on for a treat as well. Yeah, everybody watching at home, don't blink or you'll miss this one. Good check. Good job by Jack. Milos looking for straight shots, working the body. Gets that, enters into that double. Can he get his hands connected? Close. Excellent, excellent balance there from Jack Dunny. Take Good down. down from Milos. Milos, Jack scored, he gets his back to the cage. Milos with that Pakistani hand yeah. underneath, that wrist trap. It's been, the, it's been the like move of the night tonight. Milos has cut already as well, by the way. Oh yeah, it's, it's on the um, hairline. Be careful. This looks like he's burst his nose. Yeah. But he's looking incredibly strong in this grappling exchange right now. Takes the mount. Jack needs to be careful of his back here. He's got to be careful of his neck. Milos trapping the wrist underneath. See if he traps the wrist underneath, it'll make accessing the neck a little bit easier. There we go, they get the wrist trap. Did he pull his hand out? Jack in front of his corner seems relaxed, but he's not in a great position. Yeah, if someone's on your back, that's the best place to yeah. be, right in front of your corner. But interesting there, you saw... Um, he was talking Milos. back to his corner. Yeah, he saw Milos take the foot off to readjust to try and stay on the back. That's that's some smart grappling right there. Yeah, he's got it one looks, hook in right now. It looks like he's going to fall off the front. He'll probably ditch this off and use. He's straight into a triangle. Straight into a tra look transition to an armbar. Good work from Jack to get out of that. Milos. Lovely scramble. This is oh guys, what Beautiful a fight! Grappling. Yeah, this is this is super entertaining. Get that leg weave position again. The old smash pass. Steps, steps to his back. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Milos doesn't look like he's breaking a sweat either. No, what Milos is doing right here is just using technique. Yeah, he's he knows flowing. It. He is, he is flowing. Well, we've got blood on our table right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do love a bit of blood. From Poland with love. <laughs> Straight to our table. That's That rear naked looks like it. Jackson on the chin inside. Well, he is, he's getting low as well. Jack's done well. Done, look, that's it, I've done it on top. This is Milos' guard. Milos quite content Jack, in this guard. Jack will be looking to stand up and break if I were him. Yeah, he's, feel, oh, he's quite, I think he might want to finish this round on top as well. He's feeling pretty confident here. Oh, nice heavy shots. from Jack. Yeah, heavy shots from Jack. Jack did well to end the round on top, like I said, but I think he Milos really does take did. that round. Yeah, I think, I don't think it's enough to secure the round for him. No. I think Milos did well just dominating in that, and he, as you can see, he's not really tired. He's having a whip, he's blowing a bit, but I think that's just a little bit of like, he's in a new country, he's just had that first yeah. round out. Obviously, Jack Dunney's a really high caliber fighter for, on this amateur circuit right yeah. now. Like, he's a, he's a lot to take in, I think, when you're trying to fight him. He's, He's no easy fight either. No, that's what I mean. He's, he's worked really well at escaping a lot of them positions. As good as Milos looked in those grappling changes too, I must say, Jack still looked very calm. You know, yeah, he was, he was yeah. in front of his corner. He didn't seem too phased. Obviously, Milos was doing very good. He was flowing and transitioning. Well, His position in grappling very Exactly, well. yeah. I think Milos is flowing. They're both sort of flowing. Milos kind of looks like Ivan Drago. Is that what you were saying before? I think someone said he looked like Ivan Drago. Yeah, it weren't, me, it. it weren't me who said that, but I can see it. Yeah. He's a Polish Ivan Drago. Nice kick from Jack. See, Milos set that low kick up as well. I think he'll be trying to get that low kick. He's up high. Dunny returns. Good see. Sends the tee. Nice. nice Work the body over Milos. the top, yeah. That's how he set it up right there. The low kick. What I like then is Dunny threw that overhand right to um, like nullify the low kick. Yeah. That excellent technique, that. Nice take down there from Milos. Milos showing his experience so far as well, I think. Yeah, he's like, he's playing the game of winning, right? Yeah. I know that sounds obvious to the people at home listening, but he's not just coming out, swinging and a missing. He's, he's very he's, technical. Yeah, he's, he's very, very, he's very technical. composed. He's looking for the back here, but we've got Dunny looking for a switch. Dunny misses the hand for the switch. He's very calculated as well. Yeah. Well, I think Milos knows, like, when you're in somebody else's country, when, when it's their hometown, you need to... You need to take your time and put solidify the win. Jack's done well to get back to his yeah, feet. Yeah, he wants to come here and make a statement in the UK. You don't want to come here, risk everything and get knocked out in 10 seconds because he's gone all guns blazing. He's clearly an intelligent man. Beautiful knee by yeah. Milos there. Jack needs to turn and get the whiz up. He's, he's, hit the, he's hit the switch. He misses though. Milos is on his back. The problem is, like, Paul, when you hit that switch, you can only hit the switch once because exactly. you know it's coming every time then. I think Milos is too high on the back here. Jackson has escaped. He ditches, he ditches the back, though. He ditches the back. Look, transitions to the front headlock. Setting up a set up an anaconda here. Snaps his man back down. Is he setting up an anaconda or a DOS? Or maybe he's looking for the back again. Heavy hips from Milos. Got great takedown defense. And he's looking for this, looking for a turn or for a sub here. Beautiful knee by Milos. Jack oh! Jack's taking his back. Milos just Jack with the guillotine from guard. I'm in guillotine. That's tight that. That's tight that. that. Here. He's gonna give Milos a chance to escape though if he tries to flip him. There we go, that, he, he gave Milos that escape, but purely accidental like, but... Jack's still showing he's dangerous though. Yeah, of course. I think Milos just took his eye off the ball for a second. 
That was nice. That was nicely snuck in there by Jack. Very I, slick. Yeah, I thought he'd lost it at first, but no. He managed to find the home underneath the chin. Jack's going to need a big round in this next round. Milos is going to ride this 10 second out. Yeah, he needs to get a finish. He needs Jack to stop the fight. Yeah, yeah, he is. In, I don't care how, how anybody might say like how you score it. That is clearly yeah, yeah. two rounds for Milos. Jack's competitive in them. Obviously, Milos is winning the rounds. But like we were saying in the uh, the Bobby Christensen fight and Ben Mead, you know, Jack's not giving up on any position. He, he's not. He's not laying there. He's looking to transition. He's not just accepting any position. Exactly. So he's yeah. still in this fight 100 percent even though he's two rounds down. Well, if you look at him now, he's not like he's absolutely exhausted. He's blowing. Yeah. But he's but not the same, absolutely. I mean, well, the same said for, for Milos. You know, he's, those are two hard rounds for Milos. They'll be fighting at a hard pace. You know, both guys. Yeah, these guys. It's the non-stop. Right? Yeah. It's non-stop. And the grappling, the grappling is exhausting. It doesn't look like much is happening if you're if you've never seen it. Mixed martial arts before, but anybody who stepped on the mat will know that grappling. It wow. takes everything out of you. Yeah, it feels like... I can only liken it to running uphill on sand, you know, when your legs just start burning. It's like that with your entire body. And your arms are just jelly. Yeah, they're just jelly. Jelly arms. Final round for the European title fight. Jack Dunning needs a big round. Beautiful performance from Milos so far, though. Mm. Will the Kingdom Strap be staying here in the UK or will it be shipped overseas to Poland? I've got a feeling Jack's going to be looking for a knockout right now. He's really trying to set up a knockout, especially from that southpaw stance. Hard nice combination from Milos. Jack just shakes it off, though. Another one, no one two. two. Milos is looking the faster of the two in this round. Beautiful calf kick. Oh, that hurt Jack. That did. Jack's legs compromised. Milos with a double leg. That car kick really yeah, set the really tempo did, for that. Really Jack's did. next on the way. Milos looking to get a Milos submission here. Milos on that guillotine. He's probably going to get a stab from, probably get a tap from here. Jack's come out of it. Milos. Milos doing well to balance on yeah. top. Just to float. He's on that front headlock. See if we can use it to get to the back. I think what we're seeing here from Milos is he's switching off that front headlock. And um, coming to this over under grip. I'm trying to work out what he wants to do with it. He's looking for an anaconda choke. There we go. He's just looking to control, looking for the double leg again. Nice. I think Jack's leg's very compromised. I don't think he's got any stability yeah, on that's that such leg. Yeah, that's such a shame. Hopefully he can get looked at straight away. We'll get a post-fight medical anyway, guys. Don't worry about that. But to be fair, I believe that the medics will just come and see him straight away as soon as he tells them. We'll check him anyway. It looked like, you know, remember when Sean O'Malley fought Cheeto Vera and Cheeto yeah. Vera landed that calf kick? That, it just hit the nerve. Well, yeah, that like perennial nerve damage. It happened to a training partner of mine, Adam Bramo, he got kicked in a, yeah, believe it or not, a European title fight. He got kicked in the first 20 seconds and he just couldn't use his leg. He won the fight, but um, it just sends you, gives you a dead yeah. leg. You, you basically, like, lose control of that leg. You've got leg. no base. You've got no base. It's very hard to fight on one leg. It can be done, but it's <laughs> super difficult. Yeah. Milos now with that back control, but what a, what a fighter in Jack here, man. Yeah. He's just he's not, not got an ounce of quit. Jack is as tough as they come. He looks like he's, oh yeah, he's, he's, he can't really use that leg much now. But he's back. He's back up on his feet. He's back up on his feet. Milos going to drop for that double leg. Three, two, one. He's back down for them legs. Yeah, that's it, right on cue. I don't script the fights, guys. I just call <laughs> them as I see them. I've just seen like a thousand fights and maybe more this has been a, a very great performance from Milos I've got to say yeah. he, he's looked comfortable everywhere he's gone he's not rushed anything he's taken his time yeah, he's, and, he's, and he's all of his transitions have been so smooth he's made it his fight yeah. he's made it his fight he's gone he's not he don't care that he's gone overseas he needs to get a big knockout or he needs to get a big flying triangle finish to try and get he's just done everything he needs to do to win and to nullify Jack Dunney because Jack Dunney is such a dangerous kid he's such yeah. a dangerous guy you have to nullify him like that I, feel I hope for Jack. he's okay he's, he's, he's a great he's fighter okay. you can yeah. see he's limping he's a great fighter yeah you I know. hope he's okay Jack will be back but what an unbelievable performance from Milos
No, it says. <laughs> I've just made an absolute cock up. I've just walked into the cage as they've been getting their corner advice. Everyone's laughing at me. On my paper, it does say. Yeah, three in your rounds, defense, so. Paul, on the script, <laughs> it's not Paul's fault, guys. He's just doing his job. Get off his back. He's just. He says three threes. It says three threes. We were we were concluding the fight as well. Well, I feel well. That's why. Whoa, Jack with the big shots. Power shot from Jack then. Miller's ducked underneath, he's looking for that wrist trap again. Jack's not going to give it to him. I did say as well before the fight started, I said I wish this was five rounds. Yeah, you did. You did, man. So it's not like you wishful thinking. It's not like you want to go home early. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Milos with that um, seatbelt. Tight, interesting take on the seatbelt, pulling that wrist back. Nice low seatbelt. Is he going to get that wrist trap underneath? I think the referee knowing that Jack's legs compromised is going to be taking a l like. I mean, fair sees, play I mean, for Jack. Crazy. What a warrior he is! Yeah, it takes a Knowing lot to how fight on one that leg. Is, yeah. you know, a lot of people would give in. The thing is, he wants this. He wants this strap. He wants this strap. A fence grab. From fence Jack, grab. I think. From, oh wow! And Jack went to that position as well. But no, that's a fair call if you're using the fence grab to advantage your position. Oh, lovely left hook from Jack, but Milos. I feel like Milos is a lot tired, so he's, his defense is not as fast. Uh, it's, it can't keep up with the speed of Jack, because Jack has got the speed on the feet for the hands. But that's a silly mistake there from Jack. Pull on the fence. Hopefully he doesn't do it again. what Milos is going to do here. I think they're both tired here. He is. Tight. Trap the wrist again. Comes to mount. Going to look for a finish here. Probably they're going to get him rear naked. He's taking his back. Hello, That's it. Justin, one, two, three. Jack's flattened here. Milos wow. landing ground and pound. This could be stopped at any second. Milos looking for any the finish. Referee's going to step in right, right about now. That's it. And that is all she wrote. Your new 70 kilogram amateur mixed martial arts European title holder here at Kingdom Combat Championship. It is Milos taking the belt back to Poland. Great performance from Milos. You got a feel for Jack in that fight. He looked so good at moments. You know, his leg was compromised. Jack's a tough fighter. You know, he showed a lot of grit and adversity in that fight, and I don't have any doubt that he'll be back. Absolutely. I Hopefully he gets all the all the look, the attention he needs after this fight, gets himself fixed out, and hopefully it's just a little bit of a dead leg. It's not. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, at a time of two minutes seven seconds of the fourth round, our referee Salamidi stops the contest. Your winner by TKO and. Kingdom Combat European Lightweight Champion from Poland, Milos Krak. There you are, guys, your new champion there, Milos Krak from Poland. Dream, the dream. Oh, yeah. Man, the city, let's 